It seems like every year around this time, Knicks fans are asking themselves the same question. Is this a summer when they finally get it together? The answer, most often, has been a resounding no. But there's reason to believe it might be different this July. New York has enough money to sign two stars and owns the number three pick in Thursday's NBA draft. One executive said recently that the Knicks have the best tools in the league to rebuild the roster. But the tools don't mean much until Steve Mills, Scott Perry, and the club's front office turn them into talent. New York still wants to make a run at Kevin Durant, who will likely miss a year with an Achilles injury. The Knicks will also strongly pursue Kawhi Leonard, who they believe they have a shot at despite indications that LA and Toronto are at the top of his list. The Knicks would also love to pair one of those two with a second star, but the recent Anthony Davis trade takes at least one of them off the list. If none of those things end up happening and the Knicks strike out this summer, they'll take a beating from fans and media who are expecting a big offseason, and some of that criticism will be warranted. But the worst thing the Knicks could do in that scenario is to repeat the mistakes of the summer of 2010, when they missed out on LeBron James and other stars and signed Amari Stoudemire instead. If neither Durant nor Leonard come this summer, the best path forward is to maintain flexibility by signing players to short contracts and building around the young Knicks. So there are several different pathways for New York, but the biggest question remains. Can Mills and Perry deliver a sustained winner to a fan base in a city that's been starving for an NBA title for more than 40 years? Or will missteps this summer lead to more lost seasons here in New York? We'll have our answer in a few weeks.